Hey guys, Ponce here on the PVE, here to keep you updated to Yorick, his rework, and all the stuff that they're uh, balancing out with him here. The most recent change is, uh, you might remember a little while back, I uploaded a video talking about the tri-lane push thing, where I created uh, his or his alt minion wave thing inside the base, and I walked off to another one. They've changed actually how his alt works, and ghouls to an extent as well. Um, so basically, I'm going to show you something here. I'm going to put this down. Now... Done. All right. Anyway. See the maiden. She comes for you. York, you done talking? All right. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, you might remember the old version of the old. Once you placed it in a lane or you walked by a lane, uh, it would immediately just start pushing straight up that lane. Now it won't automatically do that. The ult will, in fact, follow you around until you actually engage or it engages in combat um, with some kind of lane minion. The ruined king's allies shall fall with him. Now, remember also, you know, if I created her in the jungle, she would follow you around in the jungle. That was the one thing that, you know, you know the one instance where she would actually follow you around. And you, you'd walk in the lane like this. She would touch the lane, essentially, and then immediately just start booking it straight up there. So, yeah, she doesn't do that anymore, either. Um, now, this also works with ghouls and stuff as well. This journey is long. If you just have ghouls following you. I will complete it. Um, so, I'll show you that in a minute here. But, uh, yeah, let's get the... Um, the all working on autopilot now. So basically, I'm going to go up here. She starts fighting things. And yeah, now she does the standard sort of autopilot thing where I, I have no control over her anymore. I can't say, like, leave the lane. Uh, she's just going to keep doing her thing. You know, I to could go down life is fleeting. here or something. You know, I would split push or whatever. It is quagmire. Mm -hmm. How many ghouls of her own does she have? So she's got one of her own. And yeah, I can, I believe I can create my own ghouls here. All right, I have no items, so I actually deal damage. You will rot. Mm. I do not know. What May as well do something while we're waiting, because I got to show you the um. See, so I have three ghouls here, and then uh, she has her own ghouls pushing up like that. See, so yeah, once she, actually, I guess I can show you even while she's doing her thing. We'll, we'll leave the the spooky music going. The ruined king. Will soon meet the victims of his curse. So the other thing, um, yeah, that, that I was kind of talking about is how it's going to interact with his jungling. Um, I'm not a huge fan of him in the jungle. I've done it a few times. He can technically do it, but um, anyway, watch this. It hurts to remember. <laughs> it's gonna create a ghoul swarm right here. Quickly as possible. I could make ghouls, but I don't want them to die. Actually, hold on, hold on. And you gotta wait a few seconds for the thing to come back. And Q. It's you. All right. So notice I have the ghoul swarm here like this, right? Um, if this was the last camp on this side of the jungle, you know, I wasn't done everything, um, or whether I'd finished every other camp and I had nothing else to do with the ghouls, these ghouls were done. I would run out here, the and then they would run straight up in the lane, um, like you just couldn't control them. But yeah, much like the the uh, the alt change now, at least uh, Jungle York does have the option of continuously dragging along uh, a huge number of ghouls. So it actually be rel it does actually change how he functions in the jungle quite a bit. It means I'm gonna have to be a lot more careful with um, or anyone's gonna have to be a lot more careful with keeping ghouls alive essentially because they are a decent source of DPS. And of course they can tank for you if you want to take less damage and all that stuff. But uh, anyway, that's the latest change to York. Um, it, of course, means, yeah, you can, like in the video, you can't just plunk a thing down in base and then have it run straight up lane and just kind of do this no-brain split push. You actually do need to place it in the lane in combat where you want it to push. And then, you, in theory, if you do want to go split push somewhere else, you could do that. But I'm not actually a huge fan of doing that in general. I've, I've done it a few times. It's somewhat situational. Usually, you're just kind of better off fighting with it. But, again, um, there is something of a downside, I suppose. But generally speaking, it just kind of makes things simpler. Uh, or rather gives you, um, uh, yeah, just more control in general, I suppose. Anyway, uh, yep, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Probably have to go stream something like I usually do on twitch.tv slash ponce. But, uh, nothing to do with Yorick. See you guys around. Goodbye.